Hello everybody and welcome once again to my channel PharmaTech, a place where you get a complete info on some of the interesting pharmaceutical facts and technologies. My name is Sanjay and today we are going to talk about something technical yet very interesting. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Around the world, diabetes is on the rise. One adult in 11 now has diabetes, and this number is growing fast. The risk of getting diabetes increases if people don't eat healthy food or don't get enough physical activity. High blood sugar means high risk for more than 400 million people with diabetes. Diabetes can lead to heart attacks, stroke, blindness, kidney failure, and amputation. More than ever, children are at risk. Not only that, there is no treatment for diabetes as of yet. Its management is the only next best way to deal with it. Now, having been said that, an important goal in the treatment of diabetes is to achieve and maintain a blood glucose level as close as normal as possible, which is very, very difficult to do without checking the blood glucose levels regularly. So in order to check the glucose level, one needs a glucose monitoring kit. Which contains a glucose meter and a glucose strip. Well, a glucometer is a medical device uh, which measures the approximate concentration of blood glucose right? and in that specific in that specific time or in that particular time. But have you ever wondered how does this glucometer work? What exactly happens inside the glucose meter? which allows it to detect the blood glucose in just few seconds. Well, let us together try to understand the technology and let us try to understand the mechanism. Well, the magic happens in the blood glucose strip and not in the meter. Okay? But now, how exactly this tiny piece of plastic achieves this particular reaction? So in order to answer that, let us first look into the construction of the test strip. Now, even though there are so many different brands of blood glucose strips and meters available in the market, each one has its own technology and its design. However, all of them fundamentally functions the same way. Okay? Now, as shown in this particular diagram, okay. A glucose strip actually is comprised of or is composed of several layers and each layer serves its own function. Now let me tell you the top layer serves as a sponge to soak up the blood sample which is applied on it. The middle layer serves as a filter uh, to the channel for the blood samples for the reaction center. All right. The next layer includes the three basic parts. Right? This is very important. Which comprises of the enzyme that reacts with the blood glucose, a mediator chemical that speeds up the electron transfer or along the uh, strip circuit so that an accurate reading can occur before the reaction dissipates and uh, the conclusion of the chemicals uh, that stabilizes and preserves the enzyme and the medium chem media chemicals. All right. Now at the bottom sits the gold and palladium coated circuit. And that's, that's exactly the place where the electron transfer or the reaction, electrochemical reaction takes place. Okay. Well, in most of the glucometers, the chemistry is relatively complex. Never mind, uh, let us let us together find out uh, what exactly is that. 
right? Well, as I said, all the glucometer will con consist uh, will, will have uh, stabilizers, processing aids, etc., etc. However, in this discussion, we will call it a more simply as an enzyme mediator, and we'll we'll call it as uh, the enzymes. All right? Okay. Now, now exactly what happens is as because this glucose and the enzyme do not react with each other uh, and exchange electrons directly. Okay. So what happens is a chemical is required which is called as mediator to facilitate or to mediate the electron transfer. Okay. Now let us see the chemistry which occurs inside the glucose strips step by step. I think that will that will make it uh, more uh, you know clear. So once a drop of blood is added onto the colored patch on the strip, the blood triggers a series of extremely quick process starting from the blood being soaked up by the absorbent layer and filtered through the narrow chamber by induced capillary action and then it lands on the bottom layer of the electrochemical uh, you know, uh, bottom layer of the strip for the electrochemical reaction to occur. Alright. Well, is this confusing? Okay. Let's let's see it step by step. The first step, the glucose in the blood first reacts with the enzyme glucose dehydrogenase, which is the most common enzyme used. Now, this glucose is oxidized to gluconic acid, and the enzyme is temporarily reduced by two electrons transferred from the glucose to the enzyme. Clear? The next step, the reduced enzyme next reacts with the mediator transferring a single electron to each of the mediator. Thus, the enzyme is returned to its original state and the two mediator ions are reduced into a single mediator ion. Now at the third step, at the electrode surface, the mediator ion is oxidized back to the a single mediator ion, and there is a generation of electric current. Now, this signal has then traveled through the circuit to the meter where a computer chip is present, and with the help of which, a specific algorithm, along with a you know, there is an algorithm installed it determines the concentration of glucose in the sample and then again it converts the current into a numeric uh, reading which is being then displayed on the monitor of the meter okay so this is uh, you know in a very short how exactly a glucometer works i hope uh, you know i was able to uh, you know explain how how this exactly happens okay so friends uh, that's it for now so if you have liked the content of this video please do like share and do not forget to subscribe if you have not done and in case you you feel that uh, you know you want to know something uh, some new technologies uh, related to some pharma pharmaceutical uh, industry Please do let me know on the comment section. I would just try to uh, make a video on that. All right. So till then, thank you so much. Have a nice time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay home. Thank you.